Oh, hello. Welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So I'm going to do a little bit of a controversial video today. Um, this has been a subject that's been on my mind quite a bit and I'm just going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you what I've seen, what I've witnessed. I'm not going to give you any ideas, but I don't know how to approach it. 2021 has been a really bad year um, with all the lockdowns, the everything. It's It's been a bad year. COVID-19. Um, so here, let me step in and show you my shirt here before we get too far. I'm looking forward to regretting this. I am going to regret this video. I'm sure of it. But it needs to be brought up. All of us small business owners have been struggling this year. All big businesses have been struggling. Everybody's been struggling. Um, I deal with a lot of large corporations. I am a small manual only machine shop. And I do a lot of replacement parts for big companies. And so the thing, we, I've seen a lot of things this year. Supply shortages, price increases, longer lead times, staffing shortages, um, a number of things. And it's just something that I want to kind of get off my chest. And maybe some of you can start thinking about this stuff too with your business, where you're going to go, where you're moving forward to. Um, myself, I've done a lot of marketing this year, started doing the YouTube videos, um, started doing a lot of advertising and um, getting into other things to try to boost the business, and it's helped uh, considerably. But there's all these other factors. One of the things I've been struggling the most with this year is cost of materials and availability of materials. Now, I'm a machine shop, and so s steel, aluminum, things like that um, are my raw material. Your business, it may be different. Um, you know, restaurants, it's the food, it's the beverages, it's, you know, it, who knows what it is. And I don't know your business and you don't know my business, but we have supply, we have supplies we need to buy, materials pro to build our products. And so my material cost has increased in some places 500, 600%. Um, it, it's insane. And then the availability of it, can you even get it? Um, the lead times are getting longer on some of this stuff. Um, it's it's been really weighing on my business, and and I know it is on yours also. So how do we, you know, what do we do? Where are we um, heading with this? Now another major issue is worker shortages. A lot of my customers are big companies. Um, they either large mills, plants. Um, you know, they have a product they make and I supply replacement parts, or I also supply parts for a product they build. Well, they're having severe issues with finding help. There's such a labor shortage, and they're offering higher starting wages, uh, benefits from day one, sign-on bonuses, and they can't find help, can't get help. Um, nobody wants to work. It seems to be what I'm seeing. Um, and so, in turn, that's trickling down to me and to you guys, you small business owners that supply these larger companies, they can't get the help, so they're cutting back production. Or they're cutting back on maintenance because they can't do the maintenance they would normally do, so now we can't, they're not supply, you know, sending us work. Um, I do, like I said, I do a lot of big companies, and they apologize to me for you know, things slowing down, but they, they, there's nothing they can do. They have no help, and, and I understand it. So where do we do, what do we do? How do we position ourselves to get better um, or to overcome this? Now I understand all of our businesses are different. All of our business models are different. Um, in my business, my insurance is another factor. Um, insurance is based upon my gross sales. Now this year has been a good year, theoretically. Um, I'm up 50% over last year. Great. but. My material costs are up 500% roughly. Our operating expenses are up two, 300 you know, percent. Um, there's, there's things that are up. My volume of product going out is lower than the previous couple of years. But the, pro the gross sales are up. Expenses are way up. So when my insurance audit comes in another month or so, my sales are up, my insurance is gonna go up. They don't look at the whole picture as to profit or any of that. They look at gross sales. Now I've got an additional cost coming with increased um, gross sales. Not making any more money. 
So what do we do? How do we, how do we keep going? I mean, this is a major struggle for all of us. And I'd like to hear your comments and stuff below in the comment section. Um, just, I'm curious what to do too. With my business, what I've done is, you know, I pushed the advertising this year. I've pushed, you know, a whole bunch of different things, but I've also cut back on expenses. You know, certain things I can live without. Um, but biggest thing that's saving us, my business and everything, is the debt load. We don't have the debt load. We're not, you know, we, we don't have the bank calling us every day. Um, that's been a that's been a great one. And building good relationships with the customers, going and talking to them and seeing what they need and whatever you can do to help them out. Um, I just took on a job today that I normally wouldn't for this customer. Um, but, you know, they're, they're in trouble and they need the help, so I'll do whatever I can. Um, you know, diversifying, getting into different, different fields. Um, we have a sawmill here that I built uh, for fun and, and we've used it this year to make some extra cash. Um, it's been a great tool. Um, getting into more specialized stuff. Now, restaurants, bars, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know how you, what you can do to get more specialized, but maybe that's an option. I myself have specialized, gotten into some really specialized equipment this last year and gotten into more unique stuff. Um, and then I've also been pushing into one of my hobbies of steam engines more to get into that stuff. So that's been helping. Um, but I don't know where we're headed. I'm not sure what's going to happen. So again, if you have comments or suggestions or ideas, um, you know, you can comment below, but I hope that you guys think about this stuff, you business owners and what's coming, what could come. I'm not trying to be political. I'm not trying to do anything, offend anybody. I just, I hope you think about this stuff because this has been really weighing on my mind. So with that, I'm going to end here. You can check out my website, www.toppermachine.com. And please like, subscribe, and share. Stay with us. Uh, we do a lot of really cool manual-only machining here, um, some neat stuff, work with steam engines, tractors, you name it. So check us out, stay with us, subscribe. And until next time, get in your business and get it done right the first time.